Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. It's your girl Daniela, aka For Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today I'm gonna be planning in my Mega Happy Planner. I'm gonna be setting up my weekly spread for my journaling planner, which I use a horizontal style happy planner. Um, the pages that I use come from this particular planner. This is the pressed floral uh, horizontal planner. And the structure of the planner looks something like this. It's a horizontal format. Love it. And so in, if you're interested in checking out um, how I set up my horizontal happy planner for journaling, um, just keep on watching. All right, so let's flip through my mega happy planner here and get to my journaling section. So I have a Franken planner, a mega Franken planner, meaning that uh, I have, I think, seven, seven or eight different planners Franken planned into this one planner. So I have eight different happy planners and I take out a month, a month at a time from each of those eight happy planners and then I combine them together so that I have eight monthly sections, um, but all of them are one particular month. So I have just the month of November now in this happy planner. I'm able to do that thanks to the disc bound system that the happy planner is on. So these pages come right off these discs and you can just mix and match to your heart's desire, which is just black magic. Like I freaking love the system so much because it speaks to my need to customize and be flexible and be dynamic and continuously evolve. And we plan. just cut out. I had to uh, clear up some room on my camera. But as I was saying, the Happy Planner allows me to continuously evolve my style but at the same time continue to be organized. Um, economic, efficient, productive. That's the beauty of the disc bound system. It allows you to be uh, super dynamic, but at the same time, it's super organized. So I have here my divider. It's this beautiful fall scrapbook uh, divider. And I, I make these with scrapbook paper and I just paper clip the November overview to the back of that. Uh, scrapbook paper. So if you're familiar with the Happy Planner, you know that the monthly overviews um, on the back of them you have the last week in the previous month and so I didn't write at all um, the last couple of days last week. I was so busy. But because we have that, um, I paper clip the monthly overview to the scrapbook divider so that way I don't have that like random uh, weekly page in the middle of my planner. It just goes immediately to my November overview. And this planner gives you a to-do list, a little journaling section, a lot of grid space, and some important dates at the bottom. I don't tend to use this section like it's meant to. I sometimes will use it, I sometimes won't. When I do use it, I tend to just decorate it and um, put photos in it. I don't really tend to journal in it very much because I'm already journaling a lot like in the pages themselves. So here's the November divider. It's so beautiful. And then here's the monthly overview. And I tend to use this monthly calendar view as a kind of memory keeping place. I'll write down maybe the most important thing that happened to me that day. And it's just fun to kind of collect these little moments, these little memories throughout the month and then to like decorate them with stickers. So today is the seventh daylight saving time ended today, which I was, it completely caught me off guard. I totally forgot that that was happening today, but thankfully I was still on like the old time and I was actually an hour earlier than I thought I was. So it actually worked out in my favor. I just decorated the sidebar and the corner here with some fall themed stickers. And then this was last week. I did not use this planner at all last week because I was just so incredibly busy at work. A lot of things were going on last week, but I'm really excited to get back into my planner this week. So we're gonna go ahead and decorate this planner spread. And I'm gonna be using an assortment of stickers. I have here my sticker storage book. Um, I just have all sorts of stickers in here, mostly from the Happy Planner, but I do have stickers from other companies. 
and these are all just like the dregs of some sticker books that I pretty much almost finished. I also have some, um, uh, this sticker pack of, again, just the dregs, the last pages of several sticker books that I've gone through. And so I'll probably, I'll reach for some of these. Maybe, um, I can't make like a single spread with these like little bits and pieces of stickers, but I might pull for some of these as well. I kind of want to use my antiquarian sticker books, so... I think I'll also pull for some of these. Um, yeah, I think I might. I just love these so much. I'm tempted to use these jellyfish stickers. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Mm, not these, but they're similar to those. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Ah, these are freaking gorgeous. Like this one right here. Lord Jesus, help me. These are just so, so beautiful. I wonder if I can just like... Something like that. And then I'll just write around. I'll just write around uh, the sticker. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's pull for um, one of these. And I might pull for some boxes. Let's see. Um, because this journal or this planner has like the, the horizontal boxes, the horizontal lines already, I don't tend to use a lot of boxes in here because it kind of defeats the purpose, in my opinion, of having those horizontal lines. But sometimes I will pull for a box when I just feel like, you know, kind of stepping away from the, the horizontal structure. So let me see if there's a box or two that I want to pull for here. Hmm. Maybe one of these. Which is kind of fun to use. Maybe I could put one here. And I can layer this jellyfish over it. Like something like, like that. Oops. This, like this. Okay, maybe like something like this. Like that. Okay. Something like that. And then maybe I'll grab another one of those. Let's see. Like this one right here. I'll grab this one. And then I'll grab another jellyfish sticker. I could put this one here. And then put this one kind of at the top there. Something like that. I could also put this one here. Yeah, let's put this one here. I like that. Awesome. And then I might pull for one of these like crustaceans. <laughs> this page is like the Cambrian explosion. I could put this one here, like right there. Love it. Maybe one up here at the top. I could put this one kind of like half off the page and then cut, cut it. I feel kind of bad cutting these stickers because they're so gorgeous but I also feel like they're so overwhelming that some of them kind of like you're only going to be able to fit multiple on a page if you cut some of them and kind of give that impression that they're you know kind of floating off the page I'll pull for this little one down here and see if I can stick this one somewhere maybe like Kind of like 
that. Again, I'll cut it off. And maybe I can put the little tail, like just floating somewhere. Nah, we don't need to put the tail. And again, I'll pull for this one and I might pop this one like maybe here, kind of here off the edge. Let's trim the excess. This trimming the sticker, you know, um, is such a good hack. I remember when I first started planning and decorative planning, I did not even think to cut the stickers. Like, I didn't even think that that was an option until I saw another planner doing it. And that's the beauty of the planning community is that we're all so creative and it's so it's such a beautiful community to get inspired and um, it's just great for that to like share ideas and yeah and so when I saw someone like um, trimming the sticker off the page I was like my mind was blown I didn't even think that 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 was an option um, okay so let me put this sticker maybe I can put this one like here and again trim off the excess and I think the last sticker I'm going to use is this one right here I don't even know what this is it looks kind of organic so I assume it is again like some type of crustacean but I have no idea maybe I'll put that one right here the last thing I'm going to do is add some flags. I like adding flags in my journal because it gives me kind of like a starting point to start journaling and writing. I'll, I'll write like a sentence or two per flag and that really helps me to just, you know, uh, orient myself on the page. Especially when the page is like this, when it's uh, like so, where it's kind of like the stickers are going all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and add some purple flags here maybe I'll add two on Monday because I have a lot of room there let's add one on Friday and another one on Sunday Another one on Saturday. And I lied, I'm gonna add another crustacean because I think we could add one down here. So where is that page? Ooh, here's more jellyfish. Where'd it go? I lost it. This book is insane. This book is literally insane. I love it so much. Maybe some shells. Instead of some crustaceans, maybe we could add a shell, like this one right here. Oh, I love Nautilus so much. They're gorgeous. These are my like my all-time favorite creatures in the world, these Nautilus. So maybe... I don't want to cut off the sticker, though. Mm. All right, I might have to put the sticker back. I think it was too ambitious to want to add another... Um, another crustacean here maybe I'll add this one and cut it off like here or is that too much do you think that's too much maybe like that I'll cover the flowers I don't really want to cover the flowers I kind of want to add something here but I don't know if it'll if it'll work out that might be too much maybe I'll add it here maybe what I could do is peel this one back up these stickers peel up so nicely and then like add them like this you see what I'm saying and then trim trim this one okay I like that that's fine this book is literally just 
divine. It's so divine. It's so gorgeous. I, I am like, every time I look through it, I'm shocked that someone made this. It's so beautiful. I think that's it. I think we're going to go with that. I'm going to call it good. I like my little uh, cephalopod. No, these are crustaceans. Except the jellyfish. These are nadarians. So nadarian and crustacean planner spread. So I hope you enjoyed checking out this plan with me. I'm so excited to be uh, journaling in this planner spread for the upcoming week. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.